Montgomery Mayor Stephen Reed is at the center of a newly released audio recording posted online. In them, you hear what sounds like Mayor Reed in a profanity laced rant. The conversation reportedly happened three years ago, but is only now being made public. WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitt shares parts of those recordings and has reaction from a man who claims he was in the room when they were made. A group called Montgomery Deserves Better released the audio recordings. In it, the mayor discusses the black vote, white investment in the city, and Maxwell Gunner Air Force Base. We spoke to someone who claims to have been in the room at the time. He tells us this all happened nearly three years ago. Here's part of those recordings. Don't tell me that I'm Every time I get somebody from New York to LA calling about how can they invest Right, you think I expect the descendants of Confederate soldiers to invest in Montgomery? Beyond what's good for them. Right. They can give you some charity. They can give you some charity. Right. Okay. Right. They can do that. Nice. Okay. They can do some little nice thing over here back across or on the board. Right. Right. But now, are they going to really invest in systemic change? No, they're not going to invest in it. Right. So don't ever mix up what I'm doing there. There is a you. Haven't, you haven't seen a scientist as diabolical as me because no one has come into this with what I have. Charles Lee, owner of That's My Child, says he was there when the mayor went on the profanity-laced rant. He says a group of community activists were meeting with the mayor following the death of George Floyd to discuss keeping the peace in the capital city. Lee said the group thought they were meeting with the mayor about how to improve the city. Instead, he says they felt insulted. And the mayor said, man, I don't got to do nothing. I, mean, I don't got to do nothing. I'm always get 38, 45% of the white vote, and I don't never need the black vote. Cause nothing but we ain't nothing but black voters. So it's like you tell nothing to our face, you don't need nothing. I asked Lee if this audio is from nearly three years ago. Why did they wait until now to release it? He said everyone involved in the meeting with Mayor Reed made a pact to not release it until they all gave the green light to put it out to the public. Sally Pitts, WSFA 12 News. The release of those recordings comes just months before this summer's municipal election in which the mayor is running for re-election. You can listen to the recordings on the WSFA 12 News app. As we told you at 6, we asked the mayor's office for a response and we just heard from the mayor a few minutes ago. He said in part, quote, this clip has been heavily edited and features carefully selected sound bites of my voice. The conversation was recorded without my knowledge or consent by the community member almost three years ago. The mayor goes on to say, quote, during this meeting, it became abundantly clear to me that this individual sought personal financial gain during a time of crisis in our city, state and country. You have my word that no one in my administration will ever give in to a shakedown or extortion, end quote. You can read the mayor's full statement on the WSFA 12 News app. As the community reacts to the newly leaked audio, so are Montgomery City leaders. Some say they are shocked, while others are denouncing the remarks. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert is joining us live from the Montgomery City Hall. And Brady, what have you learned today? Hey Val, I reached out to every single Montgomery City Council member. Some of them didn't even pick up the phone. Others tell me they're speechless. We're all shocked. We're just like eyeballs wide open, can't believe what you know, you know, what we saw and what we heard. Councilman Brantley Lyons is still processing that allegedly leaked audio of Montgomery Mayor Stephen Reed discussing black voters. I will always get 38 to 45% of the white vote. If I get 30 to 45% of the white vote, I don't have to get the black vote I got this past election. I'll win. Lyons says people have been texting him that video. He stresses the city council does not stand behind it. We certainly don't agree with any of those comments that were, that were made. Other city leaders are also speaking out. Councilman Ed Grimes says, I am shocked, deeply concerned, and incredibly disheartened. Councilman Clay McKenna says community members are rightfully concerned, adding in the interest of maintaining the public trust, I strongly urge our mayor and his office to offer a swift and direct explanation. Anyone who heard the recording knows there were several cuts in that audio. I asked Lyons if he believes it could have been edited out of context. I don't know. I mean, I just look at, you know, was that his voice? Were those his statements? And I, I don't know. 
Certainly a lot of unanswered questions tonight. I also asked Councilman Lyons if he believes this will be a topic of discussion at tomorrow night's city council meeting. He says you never know. We'll keep you posted. All right, thanks a lot, Brady. Again, we reached out to every city council member. Some did not respond, others had no comment. The next city council meeting is tomorrow at 5 p.m. The mayor says he will meet with the media then to discuss this matter further.